This rivalry has been brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure. Tyson. Deontay. This bout is scheduled for 12. And this one has all of those big fight feels. And there's the bell to start round one. And he misses with that jab. Got him with a left jab. He gets out of the way of that left hand. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but don't expect these fans to be sitting down. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. Hard, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold dust. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. A nice exchanges from both men in this round. Watch that jab. And he just misses with that jab. This counter puncher is gonna wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. We're fighting the counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. <laughs> this fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. So important, the referee's gonna do his fight. Each fighter's gonna get caught first. Through the hook, didn't land. He missed with that jab. He misses with that jab. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. And he just missed with that left jab. and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split, do you listen to your... Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Swing and a miss.
Harris for that jab. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think of, you've just got to be smart with them. You've got to get like a little fade and a pickpocket them. figure out the combination to this safe. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. He parries away that left hook. the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Tom, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fighters like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Was super tight. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get caught. That jab doesn't find a home. are bruising up his body. Jab misses. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. These two are the perfect dance partner. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Slip to avoid the jab. And that jab just missed with the left hand. Endurance has become, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Closer, put it, Johnny. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. Each one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. Nice exchange here from both men. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer.
go with that left hand. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Nice job by him to block that jab. Punch. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? This is when you get in the ring feeling like a King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split, do you listen to me? Who will be buzzed first? He blocks the jab. Miss with the jab. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire will fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you play calm, play cool. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Can't land the jab there. Solid punch. He fails to score with that left hook. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. This is going to be the first one to get clipped. Neither man really defending themselves. Land that jab. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to so much like jail box the fight and beat them on points. And forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Ooh, that punch hurt him. He just misses with that big right hand.
When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. him with an uppercut. Ten seconds to go here in the round. <laughs> this fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. So important. The referee's going to... He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Trying for a knockout. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a fist. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. This is the dangerous part. Changes from both men in this round. Unlucky to miss with that jab. Throws the jab but doesn't score. is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Which fighter is winning this bout? It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. Punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He didn't take that jab well at all. the right uppercut. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with success. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This 
fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? and they are giving us action. Hook misses. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You gotta hope, you gotta hope they went out of steam. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's a scoring blow. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheat, you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Neither man really defending themselves. the jab. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? The nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And th this round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hot. Who's going to be the first one to get caught? Left hook misses. Jab misses. Will be 
talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. A swing and a miss with that jab. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Big left there, but misses. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not giving up the Tyson Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's gonna get out of this. Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. No surprise as we get a unanimous decision there. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. I totally agree.